Uh, welcome to a new video and in this video I want to do a quick unboxing and overview over the Huawei Nova 9. So let's get started. The Huawei Nova 9 in blue is in my hands here right now and you can see this gorgeous blue back that really really looks nice. It's a pattern that you can feel a little bit. It's not a sandstone like pattern but you can feel it a little bit and gives you a nice good grip. The device is very slim, good to hold in the hands. We have a nice curved um, screen as you can see here, 78 degrees I think it is curved to the sides but it's not too extreme like on the Mate 40 or Mate 30 Pro devices so it's not like I have problems with accidental touches at least not in my initial uh, yeah, sessions with it and the screen is uh, 1080p full HD stretched has 120 Hertz which is pretty nice and uh, has nice animations as you can see here for sleeping and waking up the device the system that runs here is based on Android 11, at least it features the API 30 and is Emotion UI 1201 that comes also not only with uh, Huawei Mobile Services in version 6.2, but when we take a look at the information for Open Harmony OS, it comes also with Open Harmony OS 2.1 API version 5, so it has also some. Uh, Harmony OS core inside which makes the device yeah some kind of like uh, Harmony OS Lite I would say not sure why Huawei is doing this but you get some of the features just like for example the control panel here and you also have of course the notification panel then on the other side and we have also some super devices now it's called a device plus here uh, that allows you to control and connect to other Huawei devices just like a tablet or a laptop. As you can see we have some other new features um, yeah, taken from Harman US like the large enlarged folders. What is missing are options like to slide up on uh, devices to see some super widgets that we had on Harman US. The battery included here is 4300 mAh and should last you at least a day in intensive use otherwise the battery care should take care of the device for one day and a half without issues and you can charge up the device with a 66 watt supercharge or quick charger from Huawei. Huawei typical we have the accent power button and the volume rocker at the side that are both very clicky and don't rattle around. Software can be installed via the Huawei App Gallery where you can find lots and lots of software. Uh, it doesn't have all the software that you might need but it gives you recommendations about uh, downloading software that is not available on the App Gallery and you always have the option to use Petal Search, install Afdroid or APK Pure or even Aurora Store to get your software. Of course we got the newest communications as well, so there is GPS that should work very quickly. So it finds me very quickly as you can see here and has a 3D view if I want to have it or a 2D view. Uh, Petal Maps is pre-installed here on this device and yeah, I can turn around, you can see it is working nicely. On the bottom we have a dual SIM slot. So only 4G though, uh, but yeah, working fine for dual SIM cards. And we have a USB Type-C 2.0 only, so you get also only OTG, no display out or something like this. And we have a single bottom firing speaker that gets pretty loud, but it's a bit tinny. DRM level is only level 3 for white wine, so you only get SD quality, no HD quality on Netflix or Amazon Prime or Disney Plus. 
Otherwise we have NFC on board so you can do mobile payment. We have also Bluetooth so 5.1 at least is here so you can pair with all your devices if you want to. At the top of the screen you will find of course a speaker grill but also the punch hole that looks a little bit big and houses a 32 megapixel front facing camera which uh, should produce nice photos and also 4k video which is one of the advantages it has against the almost yeah same or similar designed on a 50. At the back we have the 50 megapixel main camera sensor RYYB sensor that should work pretty good in low light. We have an 8 megapixel ultra wide and two 2 megapixel depth and macro sensors. This is a quick front facing camera test on the Nova 9. The front facing camera has 32 megapixels. I'm recording in 1080p 60 frames per second right now, but you can go even to 4K 30 frames per second if you want to have a better quality. It doesn't have any autofocus, so if I put my hand here, you can see it is probably unsharp. And uh, yeah, this is the front facing camera. This is the stabilization you can expect. I think for vlogging, this might be a nice solution. You have a microphone that I can, I have an external microphone that I can attach via USB type C dongle. And I think for vlogging, yeah, not so bad. If you really want to vlog, you can also use the main sensor on the back, RYYB sensor, 50 megapixel, one over 1.5 inch size sensor, very large sensor. You get a nice background blur. And this is one of the main features of this phone. On the back camera, I can record in 1080p 60 frames per second, like I'm doing it right now, or I can go up to 4K 30 frames per second, which is pretty nice. But for 60 frames per second, I cannot switch to the ultra wide angle during recording because it doesn't support 60 frames per second. But what I can do is go to 4K 30 frames per second, for example. I'm now recording at 4K 30 frames per second. And then I can also switch to the ultra wide angle, which is pretty awesome because it only features 8 megapixel. So yeah, definitely there's, there's some upscaling going on or some trickery going on. But let's try it out. Let's go to the ultra wide angle. There we go. That's the ultra wide angle now. And I can do this also during recording, which is pretty awesome and pretty nice. This is how wide the shot will get. This is how stabilization works on this ultra wide angle in 4K 30 frames per second. Definitely one thing that it has on top or over the Honor 50, which otherwise is basically the same device uh, with a different kind of main sensor, but the ultra wide angle is probably the same. But what do you think about colors, stabilization and so on? Uh, that's enough for this little camera test. This is everything about the Nova 9 in this quick overview. First overview, first yeah, impression of this device. Pretty slick, I would say. And I like this uh, lightness. I like this slimness of this device. And I like that the device uh, has one to one the same aspect ratio and the same size as the Honor 50 so I can put on, slap on a case from the Honor 50 on this without buying a new case and sadly there's no case included, at least not in my box. What do you think about the Huawei Nova 9? Write it down in the comment section. I will of, do, uh, of course do a comparison in terms of photos and videos with the Honor 50 to see which one is better. This will come later. Uh, that's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.